Alrighty then, good afternoon everybody, uh, so Dragon here, taking a look at a uh, lovely game that is in uh, beta currently, The Dwarves. Now this is a uh, intriguing little fantasy RPG based off of one of my favorite book series, also named The Dwarves. Uh, it's a book series done by uh, Marcus uh, Heitz, a uh, German author, Ap apologies if I butcher the name. And uh, it's a fantastic series of books, and I would definitely suggest checking that out as well if you are intrigued by the game at all, as I've quite enjoyed that to say the least. So, they've designed this game based off of the world uh, from the various books that he has produced. It's supposed to be a fantasy uh, RPG with a bunch of other intriguing elements to it, but we're going to go ahead and just jump right on in here and uh, try them out for ourselves. So you're supposed to travel across the world map with uh, allied armies running around, enemies, hordes, and NPCs, uh, traveling salesmen and all those. You can meet allies, have different companions with you and all that. So typical RPG kind of stuff. Ooh, sweet. It's a bit quiet. Let me raise it up. We are the children of the Divine Smith. We are the Dwarves. Woo! Don't fuck with the Dwarves. Alright, now loading. Please wait. Still loading. Please wait. Oh, that is not way loud. Apologies. I can never get my audio to work. I don't know why. I swear to God. Pause gaming time for hitting space. Yep. Okay, let me crank this back up here. Let's raise speech up. Sound effects will slow you down with uh, music. No, that's pretty horrible as it is. There we go. Alright. Jump attack, lower left screen. Or press E. Obviously, I wanted to do E. Oh, I like how this plays out so far. Hey, what the hell? There we go. Time to get on the way. Ah, I see. Pinned him down there. Understood. Special action cost action points, of course. Earned it over time. So we do attack them automatically depending on so I just move toward Oh I see. I see, so you right click to move towards them, and then you kind of hold your attack. Hold the left mouse button in the drawer, oh no, not left even. Whoa, that's a weird combat system. Definitely takes some getting used to. It's kind of auto attacks once you get close to them. I wish it was more manual than that, but hey. Let's go ahead and use this ability. Take them down. Charge on through here. Oh! On now I'm here all alone. Might get my ass kicked a little bit, but hey. Oh, yeah, no, I am surrounded here. Finish him off. Excellent. Definitely gonna take some getting used to for this. Ooh, presents. I love presents. Go over the chest and click on it to use symbol. Alrighty then. I'd love to. Let me see if I can get through here. Excuse me, my dwarven companions. It's like, okay. There we go. Oh, so it's going to take a bit to charge, though, apparently. No, that's just t saying how much I have left remaining here. Oh, shit, it also affects my allies. I better be careful here. Oh, that is nice. All right, let's take him down. Let me charge. Uh, let me jump here, and then charge out again. Excellent. Grenade. Give him a good smacking. Yeah, I definitely would prefer your typical action combat RPG to this a bit. Just because the controls are definitely a little bit, you kind of move directly next to the guy, and then you know hope that it starts attacking him. My king, what are you doing here? Gizelbert I and I, the father of the Fifthling clan, 
has not been on the front line of battle against the creatures of Teon for many cycles. The king surveys the battlefield and the defenders with a grave expression. <sighs> we are too few. Yep. This you know as well as he does. But there will be no reinforcements arriving. Hundreds of brave warriors lie inside the fortress dying. The illness is running rampant. It brings weakness. Oh wow, it follows death. the it actually follows Steal the full story of it as well. Be as steadfast as the granite of which we are made. Nothing no, we're can fucked. Break us. Fracas is with us. Nope, we're fucked. I know what's I know what's gonna happen here. Change between characters, bottom left screen, or by pressing tab. Oh, let's go with tab. Oh, there's one big beast. Oh, that's a heal. Of Rakis. He motivates himself nearby heroes to fight quicker for a short time. Yeah, it seems like it's, a, it's almost a bit of an auto-combat than anything. So you get in position, and then you let your guy kind of deal the damage and enjoy the view. I actually kind of do like that. In that you can kind of kick back and enjoy watching a battle rather than having to concentrate on just spamming everything. Oh, let's get you back out of here. Will be so. Let's get you out of here, King. On my way. Over here. Let me switch to this guy here. On my way. If I can move myself Charge. over through here. Past my allies. All right. Come here, you. Okay, let's get some grenades out here. Oh, and they get knocked I'm off the ledge. Dead. Gotta take this big bastard down here. Understood. On the way. He is not easy. Yes, Get you back in here. Charge, my king! Oh glory! Oh, ho, 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 that was brutal! <laughs> oh, that was awesome! Hammer time, indeed. Finish him! Oh my god, I do like this. It's it's definitely so. takes some getting used to, but it's On my way. All right. it's definitely Over interesting. And there's a good wild swing. Let me let me tab over and use a grenade here. Good man. Let's get close the over here. There's a good hit. Yes. Switch over to our little king here. Give them a beating. On my way. Yeah, he is not doing well yes. over here. Come here, you. I'm, I'm trying my best to reduce the numbers around here, but it's just oh Jesus! Here they comes a lot more. There we go. That reduced the numbers. Gotta heal up a little bit here. Oh wow, he actually went down for a second. Okay, let's get back. Let's get back off. Back off for a little bit here, cause you're getting just beat all the hell. If I can move a bit to the right here, I can hit him again with another good bash. What's this one? Stuns nearby enemies. Let's give him another good wide hammer bash. The only problem is that it's changing the lines quite heavily. In that it's pushing some guys to where I don't necessarily want to have them. Let's heal everybody up a little bit. Give them to, get them to speed up. Hammer time indeed. Alright, we managed to annihilate another giant horde of orcish bastards. Oh, that hammer is fantastic. Okay, let's get back over here, actually. See if I can heal him up. Get him out here. Let's see here. So I have my quest log. I have something I can't access right now, and I have my just my game menu. So definitely needs to be a bit of an auto... Like, I, when you get them into position, they will automatically control themselves, but... Oh, well, let's deal with these catapults here. Charge! On the game. He's dealt with. Charge! Good boys. Let me yes. switch to you. 
It will be so. On my hey. way. For Fragas. <laughs> Oops, sorry, Fragas. lads. So there is some some bit of friendly fire as well. We got to be careful on. Hey. Good man. Deal with him. This catapult should be done here soon. Then we can move on with our lives. These are the ones who attacked uh -oh. us in the tunnels. We suffered great losses beating them back. Oh, hell's about to break loose now. Come here and I'll split you like a straw, you treacherous elf. In his fury, the old king radiates a ferocious power that none of Citalia's children could withstand. But the slight, willowy being sitting astride the shadow mare just grins down. Mockingly. You are mistaken. We are Alpha. We are here to destroy the elves. Dun, dun, dun. All peace-loving beings here in Girdlegard are under our protection, and you cannot open the gate that has barred your path into Girdlegard since the creation of the world. Not us, but perhaps one of your kind. <laughs> Silence, you fool! Vrakas, forgive me for what I am about to do! Ugh. Too late. Quickly! Information! You must hold them back until I close the gate! <laughs> huh? Oh, damn. Nope, we're down here. I should have saved my grenades. I regret it now. Nope, I need more, I need more, uh, action point before I can lay down this law. Boom! He's trying his best. There we go. If I can secure the right flank here, that'll help a little bit. Take it to him, boys. There's no, like, attack button, though. It's literally just move into position and then hope you start attacking at a good opportunity. To finish him off. Still, it's an interesting system. This definitely allows you to get more of a uh, view of the battle, which is enjoyable in and of itself. Good job, our king! Oh no! He took many an arrow to his ass, he did. Oh, that hurt. Ow. Look at me. I am Syntharas, the reaper of your death. I will take your life, and the land will take your soul. Get out of my sight, pointy ears. And let me delight at the closed gate a little longer. The gate may have closed, but when you rise again from the dead by the power of the land, you will be one of us, and you will open it. Never! My soul belongs to Vrakas. No. Your soul now belongs to the land, and dun, henceforth dun, dun. you will belong to it forever. Now die, and return. Then... Hand us girdle guard. Oh. Dun dun dun. So yeah, this this does cover pretty much the entirety of the book then. That is fantastic. I wonder if we'll be well, oh yeah, we will be taking over Tungdale. Sweet. Many a cycle later. Our fabulous blacksmith. I've got a reputation to uphold. If you can't rely on the metal work of a dwarf, what can I you love it. Around? I love this game already. I love it. What can I do for you? For me, nothing. It's Lot Yonan. He wants to see you in his study. Oh, well, then. Mind you go through all the recent incidents that might have annoyed the Magus. <laughs> Apart from a few little squabbles. It even covers a good part of the like, book in this, too. Nothing happened since the incident with your beard. <laughs> you nod. Okay.
You look dreadful. What a charmer. The maid gives you an ironic, reprimanding scowl. Ikana has been crying half the night. When you were seething, I carried you around the vaults. You played with my beard and I sang you to sleep. Ha! <laughs> smiles. She's heard this story many times before. That was 23 cycles ago. But I'm quite sure you didn't sing. You might have grumbled a bit. <laughs> if what you've read about the dwarven lifespan is true, it'll be another 300 sun cycles and more before you are called to the Eternal Forge. The certainty of one day having to witness Frala's death already burdens your heart. Oh, Better not keep the Magus waiting. Nope. That would be unfortunate. See you later. There's goulash for dinner. Woo! Delicious. I wish I could just use the typical WASD controls to move, but no, it's just right click. Right click for everything, pretty much. The Altar of Rackus. Everything you know about dwarves, you learn from books. The Divine Smith created the dwarves, and from time to time, you make him an offering of some crumbs of gold. It's the most valuable thing you have to offer Vrakus. Everything you know. Okay, what do we have here? You've worked Some a bit more horse. on Sunya's birthday present last night. The little one is crazy about horses. You, on the other hand, prefer to keep your distance unless you're fitting them with hooves. Yeah. Too many legs and way too big. So we have 10 gold at the moment. We have our current food stock, so it's very similar to. Uh, what is it? The Banner Saga in that regard, that we will use up food as we're traveling. And we got Days of Our Adventure here. Now, we have characters, group, and inventory here, so let's take a look at our guy. Tungdil, mightiest dwarf. Provisions, Frala's amulet, symbol of protection that has been forged for her. We have a couple of his skills, skills here. Passive, stubborn. His health is below 30%, or is greater than? No, below 30%. He gains armor. Bonus armor and damage, which is nice. Blacksmith's blow. Mighty blow dealing lots of damage. So very, pretty much very similar to the uh, blow we just used with the other guy. There was a time when you could nice hardly lift the heavy hammer. Now you barely notice it anymore and it feels like an extension of your arm. Smithing is in your blood. I really did love this book series. It was, uh, it was quite enjoyable to say the least. And it's fairly extensive in, uh that regard as well. Actually, I literally look to my right and I can see the book right there. <laughs> oh, we have an axe. And my axe. <sighs> hmm. This is where you swung the forge hammer for the first time 30 cycles ago. No one taught you the craft. It was enough for you to watch Lot Yonan's old smith at work. Hmm. Whenever the workshop was empty, you practiced and quickly mastered the craft with ease. Of course, you're a dwarf. Well, <laughs> what do we have here? There are apparently dwarves who have never seen the sky. And you too feel more comfortable when you have rock over your head. If only you didn't long to see more of the world, a longing that grows stronger with every year. I love this game. <laughs> All right, let's get on out of here. Hey, groundling, come to the kitchen. We need you. Jollison, a fourth degree famulus and your favorite foe among the students of magic, gives you a disparaging glance and disappears without waiting for your reply. Frick. All right, asshole, what can I do for you? Tongue deal! Quick! Or the goulash will get burnt! You immediately recognize what the problem is. A chain running over a pulley for positioning the cauldron is detached from its mounting and the cauldron stuck in the fireplace. It's a heavy load and none of the famuli, who feel superior even during kitchen duty, dare do anything. They might burn their fingers or even get a bit dirty. Oh my god, you bloody wimps. It'd be a waste of goulash, and I'm hungry. Here, hold this. Yeah. Do you remember when you dyed my beard with some magic spell? I had to shave it off. You stroke your beard. Damn it! 
Ah, oh, it's heavy. The young human forces through his pursed lips, letting the pot sink a little. Don't you dare ruin my goulash, boy! The cook with beefy forearms glares at the young man, and after a brief moment... All right. With as much concern in your voice as you can muster, you say... Oh, no, no, this doesn't look good. You're pleased to notice he's dripping with sweat. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get you back for You damned freak! For a moment you hope the Famulus really does raise his hand to you. But then he comes to his senses and leaves the kitchen, his face bright red. <laughs> what a pair you are! <laughs> Vegetables, bread, cheese, and all the, the good delicious is not to be trifled with. Many painful knuckles have taught you that she knows how to handle her heavy wooden spoon, <laughs> and that she may possibly have eyes in the back of her. Yeah. Oh, Frala. Let's chat, if possible. Do you know what Lord Yonan wants? The maid gives you an amused look. She has often accused you of making things more complicated than necessary. <laughs> Do you know the oh. beer that is delivered to the vaults is supposed to be the best beer in Iderslin. It's certainly your favorite beer. But you haven't drunk enough other beers to truly know. Uh, well then. Let's go see the uh, Lord and Master here, as it were. I'm guessing this should be the dining hall. Pilfer some food, pilfer some food. Oh, let's try pilfering some food. Hey, what are you doing? We're still eating here. Why didn't you get? Well, shit then. I'll pill for food another time. Better go see the magister. Away we go. Ooh. I don't want to leave the vaults. I don't think. Let me check my journal here. You may find him in his study. Obviously, his study is not, uh, you know, that away, it seems. So, let's continue on over here. Oh, here we go. Here's his study. Here we go. We got the right of it now. So, yeah, that gate was that gate was pretty much destroyed. They they got through there. Master Lot Yonan, Frala told me you wished to speak with me. Ah, Tungdil, come in. Uh, there is a bag over there in the cupboard. Take it out, please. It contains artifacts belonging to my former Famulus Goren. I wish to return them to him. He's in Black Saddle, 300 miles away. 300 miles? That's a long journey. Who are you going to entrust with this? I was thinking of you. Oh! Uh -huh. There is no one better to take on this journey. You have acquired much knowledge. You are almost a scholar. You know more than most family about Girdle Guard and its inhabitants. It is time for you to go out into the world and see it with your own eyes. Oh my I god, the excited look in my eyes. Better. It's like excitement. What's in the pouch? What's in the bag? Magical devices. Uh, you better leave the bag closed if you want to avoid any accidents. Dwarves don't really like magic, and magic doesn't <laughs> like you either. Yeah. Rackus gave us so much craftsmanship that there's no space left in our bodies for magic. Strictly speaking, every time you've been too close to magic, it has ended in catastrophe. Pretty much exploded in his face. <laughs> and we'll see other dwarves on the way. Perhaps I'll meet some dwarves on my travels. Yes, perhaps. But don't hold out too much hope. And be careful who you talk to. Not everyone out there likes dwarves. Yeah, goblins. They abduct baby dwarves and sell them to magi, from what I've heard. Not the best bit of business I've ever done. But what was I to do? The long noses threatened to throw you into the nearest river. Yeah. Be on your guard. Look after the bag and don't lose it. May Palandiel be with you. And Varakas too, of course. I'll set off immediately. I'll see you soon, Lot Yonan. Woohoo! Adventure! <laughs> oh, I quite like this game. 
Alrighty then, so we have good bit of money now. Let's see here. Okay. I should probably check off to the right here and see if I can get some food now though. The goulash is bubbling in the cauldron. You draw the warm air in through your nose, and the smell makes your mouth start watering. Delicious, I guess. Oh, Frala. Hello, Frala. Let's chat. Mm -hmm. I'll give you the present first. I've got a present for you. You take out a symbol of protection that you've carefully made from three horseshoe nails. It's not the finest jewelry in Girdleguard. One look at Frala's face makes it clear that it doesn't matter. She glows with happiness as she takes the pendant. <laughs> For me? But why? Because you don't see me as an oddity and you're like a little sister to me. You could have said. But you settle with a shrug and a crooked smile. I need provisions for 300 miles. You're grinning from uh. ear to ear. Finally, you've got the chance to see something of the world. 300? Tungdal, that's no errand. That's an epic journey. <laughs> Wait, I've got just the right thing. But make sure the cook doesn't see. I'm going to Black Saddle to return a few things to a former apprentice in the Magus. You pocket the rye bread, sausages, and ham. Enough food for the first few days of your journey. Perhaps I'll even meet some dwarf. Frala throws you a cautious glance. It's a tricky <laughs> subject that you can't help but broach. There aren't dwarves down here. You're the only one in Idas Lane, as far as we know. I know, but I can't just have been born out of a rock. Somewhere in the mountains, I have a clan. Maybe even a family. Yes. Maybe. Frala I'm not going to say anything about more that. Than once that Lot Yeoman <laughs> wrote to the dwarf clans, and none of them were missing a dwarf boy. I have to go. I've got a long journey ahead of me. Uh-huh. I wish you the blessing of Palandiel and Vrakas to protect you from all danger on your journey. Here, a talisman. Whenever you look at it, think of me. Frala <laughs> winks at you mischievously. And of getting me a nice present. <laughs> but of course. So we now have 15 days worth of rations. Lovely. I already have the weapon, so I doubt I really need much else. Well, let's go ahead and head back to my forge and check it just in case. See if there's anything else I might need here. No, I don't think there is. So, let's get out of here then. For adventure! Now, I probably should have mentioned this in the beginning. I'm already 26, 28 odd minutes in, and I am just, like, so distracted by the game itself. But, uh, as far as I'm aware, uh, this game is, at the moment at least, exclusive to those who kickstarted it. Uh, you can't buy the game, or you buy, you know, buy it to get into the beta or anything like that at this point. However, it is scheduled for the moment, at least, to release in September so it's not that far off and it's definitely a fantastic game so I would most definitely check it out when it releases but we'll do another uh, 20 odd minutes of this and then probably cut that as is oh hello what How the nice hell nice to see you again Lot Yonan it must have been an age since we last met face to face. Nudin, welcome. Please, sit down. No, thank you, my friend. These are urgent matters, and I don't have much time. You must come to Leos Nudin immediately. The perished land is stirring. Are you sure? What makes you think that? I found out about 60 orbits ago, during a visit to the borders. Our magical barriers God damn, have weakened sir. and become porous. The Elfa have left their land, and a huge horde of orcs have marched into Girdleguard. 
Were you able to strengthen the spell with your magic? No. I can't repair the damage alone. We need the combined power of the six. The other four are already on their way here, but we need your help too. I will set off for Parista without delay. Oh, and um, as you're coming, could you also take the opportunity to bring back the things that I lent to you? Of course. I have them already packed in a bag. Oh, thank you. We'll be expecting you. Well then. Well then. <laughs> Alrighty then. Onward and upward. Very slowly. Cough. Now loading, please wait. Utterly blinded by the sunlight, you squeeze your eyes tightly shut after only a few steps. The time spent underground has made you March. so sensitive to light that you're forced to seek shelter in the shade of a mighty oak. That's unfortunate. So, of course, we have our current location, and our quest location would be... Black Saddle, right over here. Alright. Continue you off to the small lake. lake by a birchwood. Your feet hurt and your eyes still sting in the unaccustomed sunlight. I'll take a left. But a smile spreads across your face nonetheless. You've covered a decent distance on the first day of your big journey. You pitch your camp and lie down to sleep on the hard forest floor. When you awake in the morning, your legs are stiff and achy. Trying not to feel sorry for yourself, <laughs> you throw your rucksack over your shoulder. You're a dwarf, and dwarves don't complain. <laughs> Excellent. Around midday, with the sun high in the sky and the first beads of sweat appearing on your forehead, you see something move next to the road, a few hundred meters ahead. Some crows are pecking at something in the long grass. Hmm. Leave the road and sneak up the on the crows. The leather armor, the clattering rucksack, and a dwarf's inability to be quiet makes the crows flap around as you move from one bush to another. You give up trying to be stealthy, Lock. stand up straight, and see two human bodies in the flattened grass. Well then, so much for that. So much for that. Cough. Ain't no stealth approach here, son. Oh. Crap, I skipped that by accident. Turn him over. By Vracus. There are some narrow stab wounds in the man's chest. The cuts are too big to have been made by arrows, but too small for sword wounds. Oh. You look down on a tall, broadly built man. He's wearing dark brown leather armor that is strengthened with iron plates. There's a sword lying next to him. Was he trying to defend himself against something or someone? There is no blood on the sword. Well, that's unfortunate. Let's flip him over and see what we man can see. The man has the same incisions. It's clear that both men were killed by the same weapon. But what that weapon might be, you cannot say. Well then, what do we have over here? Oh, a rucksack. A rucksack that probably belonged to one of the dead. It seems to have been searched and then thrown away carelessly. Oh, I remember this part. I remember this. You find a few implements, some provisions, and a map. A route is drawn on it from Parista, Nudin's capital, to Lot Yonan's vaults. Does this mean that Turga the Fair-Faced is in Parista and wanted to send Lot Yonan a message? And if so, why didn't he use magic? Did he want to contact him without anyone noticing? Why hmm. all this secrecy? Oh, you'll find out. Let's go examine this bush over here. Because I noticed that was an option. Oh. Uh oh. I'm 
I'm stuck. No! Beta bugs! There we go. Hmm. Nothing in the bush. Look for some tracks. You don't see any signs of a struggle in the area where the corpses are lying. Were they stabbed by a companion? A stranger could hardly have crept up on them with such sparse cover. Okay, let's try this bush. Hopefully I don't get stuck in Nothing an animation again. You halt. There is something. Another rucksack? Did someone hide it in the bushes, or was it thrown in there? Alright, let's search through it. You open the rucksack, and recognize that someone has already rummaged through it. As well as some implements and writing utensils, you find a pouch full of gold and a talisman. The gold is proof that this is not a case of robbery. Well then. It's not a robbery if you're already dead. You give the corpse an apologetic look. The gold coins join the others in your purse. Oh no! No, 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 take the talisman! No, buttons! There we go. You cast another and... Warmth and a feeling of security flush through your body as you touch the talisman. You feel safe. Okay. Let's check my inventory. Talisman of protection, normal. When damage received, there's a 50% chance of reducing the damage by 50%. Nice! That's a pretty good odds. I like them odds. Alright, there doesn't appear to be anything else that I haven't already noticed. So, with that... Let us be on our way, then. You scour the area once more, and ask... Let's see here. Let's look. Well, we'll give it one last good look for clues. One last good look for clues. I'm trying to remember everything here. So I missed what it said in the beginning, so. Okay, now let's bury them and then get out. You scour the area once more. Come on, give me the options. Bury the dead, then move on. Now loading, please wait. It's time-consuming and strenuous work digging shallow graves in the ground with a stick and covering the corpses with a few stones. But it should at least keep the crows from their feasting for a while. You continue on your way so as to put a few more miles between you and your grisly find before night. Oh. As the gable end of a small farmhouse and a barn appear from behind a hilltop, you hear the loud cries of children at play. A girl runs along the path laughing, followed by a small boy with a big stick in his hand. The boy is trying to catch up his sister with a determined look on his face, but is finding it difficult to keep his short legs under control on the uneven path. How adorable. Stay a while and watch what happens. The boy trips and falls to the ground with a bump. Before the girl can reach him to help, he picks himself up and grabs the stick to continue the chase. In doing so, he catches a glimpse of you and his eyes grow wide. All he manages to say is, there, mm. as he put now the girl has turned to face you too. Before you can say a word, she lifts her little brother up Without rushing, you follow the children to the farmhouse into which they've disappeared. After a few Accompanied moments, by their parents. they reappear. Their father is a thick-set man with grey hair. I am Opatia. This is my wife, Remsa. The blonde woman nods a greeting almost ah, imperceptibly. Blonde. 
and clasped her daughter. That there's a uh, that there's she a slight mistake. Over with an anxious expression. It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Tung. Over the last few days, have you seen two travelers heading east? Opatio looks at his wife. I found them. Two dead bodies on the side of the road. A good day's march east from here. Dead bodies? She hastily covers her son's ears. Was it orcs? Rem, sir. What would orcs be doing up here? I'm afraid it was neither orcs nor bandits. Now, I don't know who it was, but you're quite right to be wary of strangers these days. There we go. I'm sorry if I... The man waves dismissively. The scared no, the no. It's just that my fair woman is especially jumpy these days. The uh. orcs have been spotted near Calmstead. You should take it more seriously. The farmer's wife clutches her daughter even tighter before the girl oh, you finally and protests. The boy steps forward excitedly and cuts the air with his stick. If strangers come, we're supposed to run away, but I can hit them too. Opatia <laughs> pats his son on the head. Oh, kid. He you would die so Yorks quick. have no reason to come so far north. Wouldn't it be better to move to one of the bigger villas? The farm is our livelihood. We can't just leave the place. The fields don't look after themselves. King Tilligorn's cavalry will take care of the orcs. Or Lord Yonan. But the cavalry can't be everywhere at once. Even a. Hmm. Once the seeds are planted, I'll build the hideaway, just as you wish. But what use is a hideaway if we've nothing to eat in the autumn? We'll starve without a harvest. So, so first and then build the hideaway. We can't be sure whether the orcs will come here, but what is for certain is that you will starve without a harvest. That's exactly what I said. Opatia lays a hand on his wife's shoulder. Don't worry. I'll build a hideaway as soon as everything else is taken care of. But... Trust me. Even the good dwarf here says it is so. And if anyone knows about orcs, then it's the dwarves. Remser mm -hmm. nods slowly, then looks towards the ground glumly. If you say so. The orcs are coming, you farewell, but you need food if you're, you're going to die anyway. The children follow you for a while before saying their goodbyes in laughter and running back towards the farm. All right, we got some experience for that too, very nice. What if I... Oh, I'll take a thousand. So we only got 50 experience for that and obviously it's not increasing, but hey, there could be a reason for that. Took good water. Look down on a oh, there's something right there. On the banks a of dwarf the merchant. Wait, a dwarf Some of the merchant? The village is built on stilts in the river. A wooden bridge spans the fast flowing water. A huge wooden palisade has been erected to protect the village from attack. So it's definitely part novel, part game, to say the least here. So you're going to be spending a lot of time with these kind of cutscenes and choices. Multiple choice going along here, so yeah. Let's follow the, the path down to the, the gate. The palisade are watching you. Their armor looks well cared for and well made. The smith who made them knew what he was doing. You conclude that the men depend on the protection the armor offers and aren't just wearing them to look good. They're certainly not villagers. Mm -hmm. Oh well then, and now we get to run around the village. Excellent, let's see what we can find. Oh, it's nighttime too. Look at the skulls. Orc skulls. Not sure it's wise to taunt the beasts with the severed heads of fellowed orcs. Strong planks, sturdy, but still much less solid than the fixed parts of the palisade. And it's nice that they have the, uh, the trench here filled with spikes. Oh, shut up. Some of the guards begin to whisper as near the gate. Hello up there. Brings you to fair good water. Have you seen any orcs on your travels, Groundling? Let me in if you can. 
You might as well know for hospitality, in fact, that you're just made it up yourselves. <laughs> you just made it up yourself. Let me in and I'll tell you about travels. So much I forgot to say at the gates, stay locked after darkness has fallen. There is certainly no regret showing uh, showing in the man's face. Alright. Got some interesting decorations up there, indeed. Orc heads on the spear looks fresh. In fact, cause you unease. Yeah, oh god, yes. For more than one reason. Those won't scare orcs away. I'd hope not. More orc heads end up on those spears, the more gold coins end up in my in our pockets. Right, boys? Yahar! Kill our fair share of orcs and know how they tick. These ugly mugs will spur them on, and then they'll perish in front of our gates. Not sure whether they know much about his killing orcs as they claim, or they simply have no understanding. When did you kill these orcs? Yesterday. Caught a couple of their scouts first. The others tried to take revenge in the evening. Let's see who will turn up today. Oh, I should have told them to build the hideout right away. Well, let's go ahead and... I'm a blacksmith and a dwarf, let me tell you. Get my looks solid, but won't withstand a real orc assault. If anyone else had criticized the stronghold, they'd uh, been laughed down and shooed away, but no one understands defense fortifications like the dwarves. A dwarf blacksmith who just happens to be standing right in front of our gate. Bookworm. Quite sure that. Let's go with this. Can't leave me around with orcs prowling around. Jake said, put a few miles between yourself and you should be safe. Oh, fine. Oh, jeez. What the hell? So we ain't getting in here. I could have bluffed my way in there. But I guess not. Oh, let's get on out of here. Nope, nope, not getting out this way. Not getting out this way. Man, this actually makes me want to go read back and reread re all the books. It has been too long. I think I'm going to do that after I'm done here. I need a book tonight anyway, so I guess that works. Fuck it, let's just bribe them then. Uh oh. Set up a camp by the fire. Here we go. You just want out to get cold. Set up a camp. Go to sleep. That works for me. Oh, I've totally got to crack open this book again today. <laughs> Alrighty then. Still, it's nice to see there's uh, quite a few options for this. Of course, I could have just bullshitted them saying that we were in charge of the defenses of Highgate or whatever it was there. But hey, encampment with Oak. Uneasy feeling has been with you, your constant companion since you left Goodwater. Every little sound in the forest makes you fear you've been discovered by a horde of orcs. But you reach the end of the day without bumping into any green skins. It seems as though Varrakis has granted you one more day in Grindelard. Lovely. Let's continue on. Pass by a large oak tree and decide to call it a day. Near the oak tree is an abandoned camp where a fireplace appears to be a couple of days old. Set up a camp in the hidden crown of the oak tree. Bird of it means escaping the orc's attention. Tie a rope around you twice. Yeah, this is actually something, yeah, that, if I'm not mistaken, this was something that was in the book for that. Oh yeah, it was too. Smell the fresh icy wind that sweeps over the peaks. Great blade, the dragon's tongue. I should have told them to build their, build the, sh the hideaway immediately. Smell the disgusting green blood of the orcs and taste the rancid fat of their armor on your tongue. Oh yeah, they're here. 
Open your eyes, you're surprised at the brightness. Confirms that it's still night. Your eyes move towards the ground. What you see makes your blood freeze in your veins. Oh, yeah, just a little bit. I should have told him immediately, so fa uh, that's my bad. Those poor the poor family is going to die horribly because I told them to told them to sow their fields first. That was my bad. Oh well. Oh damn. Oh damn. Look who it is. I am Synthras of Son Balsur. My master, Nod On the Doublefold, ruler of the perished land, has elected you, the lords of Taboribor, to be the sword that conquers the south. You, dun, mean, dun, dun. you want us to put our necks on the line and be killed by some magus? Lord Yonan and the others will be taken care of. Your task is to create a diversion in the south until my master's plan succeeds. And which of us is the leader? Fight amongst yourselves. The one that conquers the most land. So Kragna will be the new Grand Lord. He glares at Ushnots and Bashkuk. The Kragna Shore Tribe will conquer the most land. Never! We will overwhelm the cities of the Red Bloods quicker than you can suck the marrow from a bone! We shall see. You can't believe what you're hearing. <laughs> if the beasts of Teon ride into battle together, catastrophic cycles lie ahead for Girdlegard. Dun dun dun. Well, with that little story twist, I think I'm actually going to end this here for now. We haven't made our way to the actual town, but still, I the quite like it. The oak tree was the worst of your life. You spent every single moment afraid that you'd be found yeah. and savage yeah. by the orcs. But I remember the first this part. Of sun broke through the treetops, the orcs abandoned their camp and left without discovery. Let's get out of the tree. Yeah, I've definitely got to read that book again today. But anyway, I think with this, I'm going to call it for now, as is. So, you get the general idea of what the game is like, although... We didn't get very far, and of course there was a lot of pauses in between while we decided what to do. Let's examine this armor here, though. Some battered plates of armor have been left behind, presumably because they no longer offer their wearers sufficient protection. All of them are human design, plundered by the orcs who don't make armor themselves. Yep. This is the place. I knew it was here. Come on, then. Find that stupid necklace. Hey, Fushka! In front of you! Oh, looks like we got one last fight ahead of us. <laughs> A grounding! Perfect crisp on breakfast. Well, then. You know that you're no warrior. But you want to face the orcs as a child of the Divine Smith. Perhaps you'll manage to kill at least one of them, so as not to appear so undwarven in Varakas's eyes. I'll give you something to chew on. Varakas made us of stone. Oh, damn. And then, story twist. Oink, oink, little peggies! <laughs> and that's a fantastic story twist right there. <laughs> uh, How did you manage to lose your weapon? Go and get it, and this time, hold it tight! Hey, that one was mine! You're just too slow, dear brother. Ah, <laughs> the brothers. Just wait. Oh my God, I love it. <laughs> oh. Vavrakis. Wow. Huh? Another one bites the dust. We don't have much in the way of ability right now, especially considering Attack. that I'm surrounded here. Let's take, might as well take down the weaker one. Vavrakis. Do the best we can in that regard. Oh, we got some orc archers on distance. On Stun way. him. Attack. Deal with this guy. Ha -ha. At once. End it. 
vile creature. Please do. On my way. All right, let's go deal with these archers. At once. There we go. Who's next? Oh, we got reinforcements on the way. This wasn't going as I planned. Need action points. Okay, that's dealt with. There's way too many of these guys. Help me out, brothers. End it. I didn't hit you very hard. That's one down. Oh, you guys are huh? getting ha hammered here. Who's next? Yes. Oh, boy, Dill. Where yes. is boy, Dill? Oh, he's downed. Ow! Like just uh, just by hey! themselves, they weren't enough to hold it off here. Bonda. So we're not Give doing too well here. End it. And again. Uh, trying to reduce the DPS, but it's not enough. Killed. Attack. Oh man, that camera angle is just horrible there. And they just ignoring me now? Lol. I find it hilarious that they're ignoring me. I have no heal ability. Yes, they are. On my way. At once. At what now? Huh? Huh? End it. They're hitting me pretty hard. Yes, I can see that. Understood. We might actually lose this one. I should have stuck with them and dealt with the enemies around them. Should have worked together. Instead of trying to run off alone. Vile creature. Dealt with. Marcus. Quickly, finish him. Oh, those archers are fucking kill killing me. And again. On my way. Let's see if I can dodge them Understood. here. Attack! Vile creature. Stunned. Get him. Ah, shit! Reinforcements. And again. On my way. Attack! Understood. That's definitely a bit End of a pain it. in the ass. So get that 30% bonus. I need help over here, quickly. On my way. Oh, this guy especially is gonna kick my End ass. It. At once. I need more action points. Pavrakis. Desperately, or I'm gonna be in some serious trouble here. I need help over here, quickly. Well, too bad. Pavrakis. Oh, quickly, get him! Get him while he's down. Get him while he's down. Shit, 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 shit. This is not good. Action points, action points. Come on, action points. Okay, finish him! Thank God. Okay. End it. Having my back to these guys is not a good idea. End it. Okay. If I can deal with this guy quickly, then I can finish him off. It's like, come on, come on, come on! I barely have, like, I'm down get... to almost one bar here. On my way. Okay. Killed. And Understood. he's done. Woo! On my way. At once. Definitely not the best camera angle around, but hey. On my way. So we're healing up a very little bit. But yeah, they should have swarmed me. They should have swarmed me there and finished me off. End it. Instead, they're just kind of Wild sitting here creature. around them, I guess, partying, or still beating on them, I guess. Killed. Understood. Pavrakis. But yeah, no, that's definitely something that will hopefully be like, well, we don't want to get too overwhelmed, but still. There are some decisions I probably could have made that I might have been able to be more prepared for this, but hey. At once. Okay, finish him. And again. Excellent. Attack! End Come it. on. Get him, man. At There's once. a good blow. Pavrakis. And he's downed. And we finished. All right. Wait, there's one more? Where the hell is there one more? At once. Somewhere on one more orc needs to die. Understood. I'm assuming he's over here. At once. There he is. Instantly Eight. hammer him down and finish him off. Get. There we go. <laughs> Oink oink. That's all? No more orcs! <laughs> well thought, young friend. Do you happen to be tongued ill? Well thought? But he fought like a... like a... Boindil, what do you expect? He grew up amongst the humans. Mm -hmm. Who? 
Who are you, and how do you know my name? My name is Boendal Hookhand of the Clan of the Swinging Axes. This is my brother, Boendal Doubleblade. We've been sent to find you. Call me Ironheart. Are there any more piggy snouts around here? There are more orcs anyone could ever wish for. There was a meeting last night. The Elfar serve a certain Nod On who calls himself Lord of the Perish Land. They have enlisted three orc hordes to cause unrest in the south. Did you hear that, Boendal? Peggy Snouts! The Elfar from San Balzur and the orcs from Taborabor are working together? Dun dun dun. They could ally with the orcs in Perish Land. The twins look, uh. Yeah, that's unfortunate for that. Yeah. You were sent to find me. You turned up at just the right moment. But are you sure it's me you're looking for? The High King Gundrabor sent us to fetch you and bring you to Ogre's death in the Secondling Realm in the south. So he received the letter from my master. And am I a Secondling? Well, something like that, I guess. We've got to... Yeah, 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 I know what you're gonna say. But it's our duty to get you to the Ogre's Death Fortress in one piece. I thought the duty of dwarves was to protect... Lotionan and King yeah. Brauron will take the care innocence. of the orcs. We three must be careful. You're not exactly a warrior. But he has broad shoulders and broad hands. There's hope for him yet. <laughs> so when you've got the chance to split a few orc skulls, you should take it. <laughs> I must fulfill his orders for I would be happy to follow you into the realm of the Second Links. In truth, there is nothing I would rather do. But first, I must travel to Black Saddle and return some things to a former Famulus of Lot Yonan. Black Saddle isn't exact. It's on my way. We can head south as soon as I've carried out Lot Yonan's orders. Well, <laughs> he certainly got yep. the stubbornness of a dwarf. <laughs> we'll be able to make a real dwarf of him on the way. Oh, oh, this right. is fantastic. We'll I just, you. It's like I don't want to end. I don't want it to end. The quicker we can get back to the mountains. I'll have to send Lot Yonan a message by carrier pigeon on the way. And if we happen to stumble upon a couple of orcs... <laughs> I like you, but we'll have to find you another name. <laughs> Bolifar. It's about as good as Lipsmith, Paddletosh, or Blufflegrump. It is stupid, senseless, and definitely not a name of honor. What are you good at? I'm good at reading. Reading? <laughs> You're a scholar? Yeah. Oh, and look at it here. We all got to level up a little bit here. Fantastic. So maybe I'd get some skills I can finally... Oh, yeah, here we go. We got a couple of skills I can get. Sweep. Sweeps the enemy off his feet. And that would allow you to finish him off right afterwards. A lateral blow, dealing damage to several enemies and knocking them sideways. I like cleave. So you get to pick one of the two abilities as your main out of all of these. And I'm assuming in the center here you'll get something that will modify it in some way. Anyway, that's definitely intriguing. There's a whole bunch of abilities. We've got the charge, leap attack. I quite like the leap attack. Uh, damage boost. So short uh, for a short duration you get 50% damage. Or uh, receive damage is half for a short time. So either way. I'd probably go for the for the damage boost. Uh, leaders will. Any nearby NPCs deal 25% more damage. Or he gains twice the action points while the cooldowns of his actions are halved. Ooh. That is tempting. Either way, dummy. What? That's an interesting icon. Damage boost, defense bonus. Might. Probably might. Anyway, you found a bunch of food. Large healing potion. So this is just a placeholder icon then. Talisman of steady battle. Increased damage auto attacks by 10%. Very nice. Either way, I quite enjoyed that. So let's uh, call this here for now. So thank you very much for watching everybody. Uh, hopefully you've all enjoyed. And uh, definitely do check out this game when it comes out in September. I'll hopefully do some more on it. I definitely need to refresh myself a bit on the books. It's been a while. But uh, yeah. Uh, do check it out. And I will catch you all next time. Dragon out.